Texas Tech football back at the training center once again on Tuesday for day two of summer training camp. Coach Tuberville and the Red Raiders practicing once again in the heat, saying it took a little bit of a toll, but he likes what he sees out of his guys in the last day before they'll put on pads on Wednesday. It was a good day. We've got to uh, uh, get a lot better shape in terms of uh, being able to go for two hours. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, the quarterbacks are throwing awfully well. They're not tired yet. They'll start getting tired at the end of the week. We're getting uh, good repetitions out of our guys that are banged up. We've been banged up. I watched them today quite a bit. It looks like that uh, they're moving around well. Uh, things we'll have to just wait and see how, how far they go and, and, uh, and when we start getting physical, how much they can do, whether they're blocking or running with the football. Uh, Secondary-wise, uh, we've got a lot of numbers now, and we've got a lot of guys that's got to get a lot of reps. So we're going to throw a lot at them and see see which ones can uh, pick enough up to play this year and which ones are red shirt. But looks like we're in pretty good shape in terms of numbers in most areas. Uh, but uh, tomorrow will be a little bit different day. And again, we've uh, we've got to keep putting things in and see what happens uh, when we start executing and have a, have a little uh, popping with shoulder pads. One of the most talked about positions has been at the wide receiver spot, with returners like Darren Moore and Eric Ward coming back, and other faces such as younger players Derek Edwards and Javon Bell beginning to make names for themselves, both offensive coordinator Neil Brown and position coach Tommy Maynard happy with the way things are after two days. You know, you see us, we're doing, we're kind of doing that two spot during Skelly because we're deep at receiver and we got some guys to rotate. And, you know, you saw it, I thought our twos and team, our skill twos were significantly better than our ones in that team setting. You know, Derek Edwards made a big play. Uh, the freshman Quentin White made a big play. Burr, Burr was sharp during that team period. So it, it makes us better. It's been great because, you know, you've got a guy like Darren Moore who's returning. You know, we all see his potential before he got hurt, and uh, we're anxious to see what, he, what he's going to do uh, through this fall. But he's got a lot of got a lot of pressure on him now. He's got Bradley Marquez who had a phenomenal spring, and, and Javon Bell, uh, you know, who's a nationally touted junior college player that's coming in and, and uh, really had a, had a questionable spring. Really, his head was spinning. Didn't know where he was a lot and, and what to do, and he's, and he's kind of caught up with things. He's kind of where we, where we hope he'd be the first two days. So I'm anxious to see the pads come on with the Z position at X. You know, Eric Ward has, has been our guy. He's caught 80 balls. It's going to be hard to beat Eric out, but we've got two guys that can do it. You know, Eric, uh, Derek, Derek Edwards uh, and uh, Marcus Kennard are, are also having phenomenal, phenomenal years. Uh, both positions are really wide open, and, and, and it's a day-in, day-out process. We tell those guys, you know, you, know you, may, you may go down or up today. You know, so every day you better come to work. 